Hi, it's Jennifer again. I'm here to do another daily vibe for December 1st because I know that first one doesn't resonate with everybody. Okay, so I just think it's it's better to do another one. This one is going to be for the other group, hopefully, but I'm sure that it will resonate. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see what's going to happen. I never know what's going to happen. Um, sometimes I do. <laughs> ah. Anyhow, we're going to see what comes up with these cards for December 1st. And I did mention in the last video that I did for the, you know, the the November 30th reading, I gave it 7 days and I and I didn't realize that the new moon is in exactly 7 days. So the moon card was first. So something, that tower moment is going to happen anywhere between the 30th, which is today, that I'm recording this for the first, up until December 6th, 7th. Okay, there's going to be some rude awakening. Okay, that, and if you want, if you've forgotten, go back to the November 30th reading. But... December 1st. What do we have for, for December 1st? Happy family. Woohoo. Envy. Somebody's jealous. That sucks. Somebody wants what you have. Or they want that happy family that somebody else has. You know, they want that. And they're jealous that they don't have it. Rest and rejuvenation. Take a break. Healing. Going within. Door to spirit. Ooh. Spirit is intervening. Perhaps through meditation. And maybe if you, during your sleep or during meditation, because eyes are closed, you may be receiving messages from spirit. Okay, just remember that. And if you can't remember your dreams... There's a reason why you can't remember your dreams. There is. It's because you're closed off for some reason. Maybe you need to meditate more and open it, open yourself up. You may not be remembering your dreams because subconsciously you're protecting yourself in some way. But your dreams are still being downloaded. Okay? They are. Anxiety. Yes, there is some anxiety. People are feeling anxious at this time because the energies have been so heavy. And it's like we need a break. We do need a break. It's time to relax and heal and rejuvenate your soul. And this in spirit wants that to happen. You don't need to try to keep up with everybody else. At this time, you should be working on yourself. Somebody is really worried about worried about their family. Worried about happiness. Worried about what everybody else has and what they don't have. There's no need to worry. Who gives a shit what they have? Storm warning, tower moment. Breakdown. Walking away, yeah. Somebody's walking away. Thinking man, ooh, I like the thinking man. Communication. 
communication from this man? I already did this reading, didn't I? Spirit is intervening and the person is worried about it. He wants his family back. Son of a bitch. Oh my God. He's been through a battle. Oh yes. And he's walked away and oh God. And now he wants his happiness back. Oh my God. And he's been trapped. Or he or she. He or she. Somebody has been trapped. I mean, this is the same goddamn reading. It really is. I mean, that's what... I mean, I don't even know if I should keep going. I'm gonna. But this has happened before. You know it has. So, we have somebody that wants what everybody else has. I want my happiness. I want the happy family. But they're anxious and worried about communicating. They, they're wondering if they have enough to offer. So, you know, they've been through a period of rest that the spirit has been talking to them, maybe through their dreams or maybe through meditation. And even if you can't remember them, it's funny that I said spirit and the other one too. I brought up spirit quite a bit. Spirit is working even if you can't remember those dreams. They are being downloaded. And you will, during the day, say you're driving in your car and all of a sudden you're thinking, oh, I gotta, I gotta contact this person. You can't, this person is on your mind 90% of the time. That's spirit. That's spirit. Those, that's your dreams. That's your memories coming up. That's spirit talking to you. If you've got somebody on your mind constantly, when the first thing when you wake up in the, in the morning, in the middle of the night when you wake up, when you go to bed at night, if, if, when you're in your car, wherever you're at, you're wondering what this person is doing. You're thinking about this person. The universe is, that's the universe poking you. Poke, 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 poke. That's spirit. Okay, so I feel as though somebody is afraid to face the storm because there's somebody that has walked away in the past. Somebody has walked away and now they want it back, but they have these fears. They're, they're, they do. Anxiety is fear. They have these fears of communicating their truth. They're thinking about it. They're thinking if they have enough to offer. They had taken a break. They had taken a break from something. They had walked away. And now they want it back. They want it back. They want their happiness back. I mean, I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. You know, and they've been trapped. They've been really, really trapped in their thoughts and their mind and keeping themselves stuck. And, and now they have to face this storm. They have to face this storm to get the happiness that they want. That's all there is to it. Ten, one, the wish fulfillment. One, one, I mean, come on now. When you see one, 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 you make a wish, okay? It's about a partnership, a divine partnership that somebody wants back. They want their happiness back. I mean, that's what we got here after they've walked away and now they just they, they're thinking about communicating they're thinking you know do I have enough to offer is this I mean I don't know maybe they got maybe they got to get a ring because this is a rock in his hand and you know that's you know is it is it big enough do I have do I have something big enough to offer you know this man is thinking about making an offer and he's wondering if whatever he has to offer is enough is it going to be enough? Spirit is, is pushing. Push, 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 push. And we saw that in the other reading. And somebody is going to have to face their fears to, to get the happiness that they previously walked away from. So this basically the same reading. I'm really not going to keep going. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll get an oracle card. But it is, it is, it's the same thing. Somebody is wanting what everybody else has and to get what they have to get their true wish fulfillment they're gonna have to face the storm they're gonna have to walk into that storm and deal with it you know and don't come empty-handed either so um yeah and this man knows he can't be empty-handed he's got to come with something he's got to come with something real all right 
He knows that. And I think he's really, really scared, whoever this person is. He's scared to communicate his truth, but spirit is nudging this person to do it. December 1st. Maybe we'll get a couple oracle cards. Since this is the same reading, and I didn't get any last time. We'll get another one. December 1st. What do we have for December 1st? How about one more? We go a little bit further. I love to push it. Let's go a little bit further. One more. Two more? <laughs> one more. One more. One more? One more chance? One more chance? I don't know. Oh, God. Remember I said coming with an offer in your hand? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Somebody could be making, you know, a proposal. And it could be quite unexpected because they're afraid of being rejected. If it's not a proposal, it's just an offer of love, whatever it is. The love life is ascending to a commitment, period. But this guy has something in his hand and it looks like it, I mean, looks, I don't know what it is, if it's a crystal or if it's a big ass diamond or what, but, um... Oh, God, take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. And this, this is what spirit has been trying to nudge this person. Take a chance. Remember, I just said one more chance. Take a chance. I don't know where my book is for this. Wise leader, you are a beacon for others. Let's read that one. You are a leader. You carry a wisdom and radiance that inspires others. Even if you're not always aware of the depth of your wisdom within you, it's emerging by leaps and bounds. This is a time to step into your power and take a role of leadership. You're ready. Grab the reins. Make decisions. It's okay if you're not 100% sure. Make decisions anyway. It's what a leader does. I can't make this shit up. I can't. On the journey, it's easy to tell who the leaders are. They have an inner grace and strength that glows from within. Others travel on the pathways that leaders have created. The wise leader holds up the flame as a torch for others in the darkest night. But the leader also listens to the beat of their own drum. Grab the reins of life on your terms. Don't live to please and appease others to the detriment of your own needs. This is not what a leader does. Live without regrets. Do what's right for you. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Who gives a shit? Your life, your heart, your love. Good luck.